Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. A new scientific study could radically change our view of the Sun. It seems that the Sun is not behaving as it should. Scientists have recently created what they call an MRI of the Sun's interior plasma motions. For decades, solar physicists have believed that at the Sun's core is a superheated thermonuclear reaction. This theory requires a massive transport of thermal energy to the Sun's surface through convection. But the results of this study indicate a virtual absence of convection, just 1% of what a thermonuclear core would require. How does this affect our understanding of the Sun? The thermonuclear model requires uh, several things to be going on, uh, which don't appear to be going on. One is uh, there's supposed to be a radiative zone inside the sun, and then above that, a convective zone. And, of course, the radiative zone is purely speculative. It's only required by the model. There's no evidence for it. And the convective zone is also speculative based on the granulation that's seen on the surface of the sun that was interpreted as being the tops of convection cells. But the fact that they've discovered very little convection means that both the theory of the granulation, uh, the theory of the generation of magnetic field and the theory of transfer of energy from the center of the sun, all of these are in peril. And I would say that uh, what we're seeing is the demise of the standard model of the sun. The absence of the expected convection is just the latest in a long string of surprises for solar physicists. There are many anomalies. Uh, in fact, the very magnetic fields above the sun and the uh, very hot corona, none of these have been properly explained. There have been a lot of arm waving about uh, energy is somehow transferred from inside the sun to the outside without affecting the photosphere because this is what's required. But this is a really weird uh, kind of model where you've got uh, 16 million degrees on one side of the photosphere and tens of millions of degrees up in the corona and sitting in the middle is a five to 6,000 degree photosphere. And it's required very uh, or sort of extreme speculation as to how you would ever get that energy out of the sun. And there's been no satisfactory answer. Thornhill points to a different model of the sun, which relies on the principles of plasma physics. Well, the electric sun is energy received from outside the sun in the form of an electric current lighting up the ionosphere of a body which is no different to any of the other bodies in the solar system, only it may be much larger. And so we're looking at the top of the very top of the atmosphere, like the ionosphere of a body like, say, Jupiter or Saturn, because of the electrical energy coming in, it's lighting up uh, like any of uh, the new gas discharge electric lights that you see uh, in car headlights and so on. So that's what we're looking at, it's just an electric light. I think the um, theorists have to begin to look at plasma physics, the real plasma physics, the, pl the physics of electrical discharges in low-pressure gases and forget about thermonuclear models at this stage, but concentrate on plasma discharge phenomena. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.